Okay, we're back with the what I believe is the most important of all the rules of differentiation, and that is the chain rule. Okay, um, so the chain rule is going to allow us to derive composite functions. We'll get more into that in a second. Let me start by asking you this question. Fill in the blank question. Runner A is twice as fast as runner B. Runner B is three times as fast as runner C. Fill in the blank. Runner A is how many times faster than runner C? Go. Okay, I'm guessing that you wrote in a 6 here, and you would be correct. How did you get the 6? Exactly. You multiplied them. Okay, let's look at this connection in, from a, uh, a differential point of view. We had the rate of A compared with the rate of B. And you multiplied that by the rate of B compared to the rate of C. And the result was the rate of A compared to the rate of C. Would you agree with that right there? This right here, the A compared to B was a 2. B compared to C was a 3. So therefore, we multiply them together and we get 6, which was A compared to C. Easy enough? Okay, this right here is our key. This is going to allow us to derive composite functions. Okay, and that's in the next video. So head off to that one.